Welcome to Nerd Alert. Today we have a special guest. Her name is Kristen Nettopack. She Hi is the founder and executive producer of the Geeky Awards, which just happened last weekend. I was yes. there too. I know. It was, was it really fun? exciting. Did you have yes. a good time? She came up with the brilliant idea for an award show that honors all the way geeks express their love for their favorite things, and we would not be here without her. Uh, please give a warm welcome to Geeky Awards creator and executive producer, Kristen Nettopack. <laughs> Thank you. And as artists and creators, we dream of that moment when someone somewhere sees and recognizes our hard work and talent. The moment when the world sticks their heads up and says, wait a minute, who is that? And the Geeky Awards was created to give incredibly talented, badass geeks that moment to shine in front of their peers, their idols, many of whom are in this room tonight, and everyone across planet Earth watching. And on behalf of myself and my entire team, we thank you so much for being here to celebrate their hard work, their creations, their talent, their moment to shine, and to witness history in the making. Thank you. I was really proud of you because I was Yay. like, my friend, she Because we know each other. We've known each other forever, we right? We knew each and other when <laughs> neither of us was anywhere near creating award shows. <laughs> or, or, or shows like this. Show. Or shows like this. This is awesome, I know. How far we've grown, people. I know. <laughs> It's really beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to cry. <laughs> but it was awesome. Like, I met Stan Lee. I got to hang out with all my friends. Yeah. Well, that's the funny thing about the geek community, especially in LA, is everybody's kind of friends with each other. Yeah. And so somebody said it was almost like seeing your family again. It was like, it's nice to see the family there. It was like a reunion it a little bit. It kind of was. It was fun for me because I only see those people at Comic-Con, mm -hmm. sort of, but Comic-Con is so busy that you barely get to see anybody. And then, you know, this is a small space and everyone's there and you're just like, hey, I know you. <laughs> So I thought it was really fun. It was awesome. No, yeah. I was I was really impressed with how it went over. It was Thank awesome you. to see Stan. Yeah, he for a first Stan year Lee. show. <laughs> I mean, nobody really knows this. It's not something that's done all of the time as an award show. You know, we see new television shows, we we see new web series, but an award show is its own beast. And for the first year, it went off pretty well. The fact that Stanley sang a hymn. He, did he write that? He did. He, it was incredible. No, I, I was looking at the teleprompter and like, it just said Stan's speech. That's why I'm so proud tonight, because I'm with my peers. All of those who aren't geeks are crying in their beers. That man did all of that himself. I love him so much for that. Uh, we all do. <laughs> no, that was really cool. Is it, it seems like a lot of freaking work to put that together. I mean, how it's, long has this been in development? It's been in development for almost two years. Oh. And because we start from scratch, you know, unlike, I mean, if you think about it, there's the production aspect, and then there's the submissions and the nominees, and then there's the judging, and then there's the event, and then there's the celebrities and the red carpet. So it's kind of everything boiled into one. Mm -hmm. And to take all of that and put it into one project was insane. Mm -hmm. I mean, the production part, that's, that's my special. Specialty, so I was very happy that went together really well. Yeah. Um, but all of those other elements, I mean, I was doing things like getting sponsors and doing sales and marketing that I've never done. I don't know how to do yeah, that. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> it was a crash course in like, okay, well, I'm going to learn how to do this right now and let's see if it works. It worked. <laughs> yeah, it was really fun. How have you been... Uh taking the, the press and the reactions. Is it the good? The press was actually really good. I mean, there was maybe, there was one really negative article, but it wasn't necessarily about the geekies. It was about geeks in general. Oh. I mean, I don't remember the name of that. You know who you are. They were basically <laughs> saying, like, for the love of God, does Stan Lee need another award? I'm like, maybe that's not the smartest that just thing to do. sounds like someone who's do. grumpy in general. Exactly. Than a critique on exactly. the award show. And then, you know, some people were definitely, you know, saying, well, I would have fixed this and I would have fixed this and I'm like this is great feedback because we want to know what we should do for next year mm -hmm. you know when it's all in your head and you put it out there and it's the first year you have nothing else to go by yeah and once people see it and then you say 
oh, okay, well, like this many people want this one thing, so that that lets us know what people are expecting for next year. Were there a lot of awards that weren't announced? Because I no, feel like not. Um, well, what it was was we because it was our first year, mm -hmm. we separated things into categories. So we had short films, web series, toys and games, podcasts, comic books, all of those different things, and it ended up being nine categories, mm -hmm. and then we had three special awards. But within those categories, what we did earlier, a few months earlier, were were what we call um, category honors. Mm -hmm. And so because we knew something like uh, art and craft was going to cover you know, t-shirts and actual crafts yeah, and this that. and that, there were so many different things that we knew that if we only had nominees that were the top five, that a lot of people would have been left out. Mm -hmm. So we actually gave category honors that were the best of very specific things. So it was best t-shirt design, best recycled oh. craft, best book. And that way people got a lot more out of it. Um, so it's different from what anybody else has done in that we give levels of honors and then you get to the award show and that way more people kind of win. We all won. We all won. <laughs> <laughs> well I was wondering like these categories were so unusual like best craft how do you even award that it was like a corset versus a, an art nouveau. Exactly. And then there was also uh, toys and games we don't usually see awards for toys and games that outside of a, like Gen Con or something like that. That was a very difficult category to get submissions to because um, you know and also video games you know just to, just to tell people was about there a that. Video games category? There was a video games category there was a cosplay category and there was a toys and games. Ah. So what ended up happening was the cosplayers were very upset that they didn't want to enter a show and pay for the show so we ended up saying well okay we're, we're going to get rid of the category we're going to have a free cosplay contest for you on Facebook, just for you, because you were very vocal about that. So that kind of switched to a totally different that thing. That sounds like a nice way of saying, okay, stop yelling. Well, I mean, we, we wanted to accommodate <laughs> to people, but at the same time, it's not fair that other people are entering. And so we did yeah. everything we could. The toys and games, it was just an area that we didn't have a lot of uh, networking in. Mm -hmm. And then video games, we literally had no one enter. And so people were like, what happened to video games? So like, well, we, we had it. Are you looking for more indie More type independent titles? video yeah. games. And also, you know, when we look at these things like art and craft, we're looking at the creators. Mm -hmm. We're not looking at, uh, you know, even toys and games. It's designer toys. It's not mass manufactured things. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, the judges were given very explicit instructions to look at the actual craftsmanship, to not really judge it against anything else, but to judge it in its in its own thing. So, like, if you're looking at corsets and you're looking at a painting, you know, you really have to take it as one individual thing and look at the craft that went into it mm -hmm. and, and so forth. And so that's sort of how we ended up getting our scores. But for video games, you know, w the categories we had were, you know, best character design and best story. And so it wasn't necessarily a big video game as a whole. Yeah. It was sort of based on the individual artists and artist teams that came on board to make it happen. So the geekies are more leaning more towards an independent award Absolutely. show. Absolutely. Because I was thinking, like, well, why aren't, you know, these huge games out? Like, there's yeah. a lot of... But they have the well BGAs, known. you yeah, know, they, they have their own award shows. And so this is this is mostly for people that are not known and that want, you know, need to be known because they're that talented. And yes, there's a line there that you're like, well, where do I draw the line? But I think we, we sort of promote it that mm -hmm. this is for independent artists, so like Joss Whedon, maybe not Enter the Geekies, but at the same time, <laughs> What, you can be Joss, a presenter. Are you not going to give an award to Joss Whedon? Um, we tried to give an award to Joss Whedon, <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> Some, you know, sometimes you're just really small potatoes. <laughs> well, you know, it's a first year it is, award show. It just is. like a first year con, there's always going to be a hitch, and it's not going to, it hasn't built the steam yet. But maybe exactly, for year two, I exactly. think things went over pretty well. You yeah. got a lot of press. We'll, we'll see. It was great. It was so much fun. Thank you for coming. I was, at, oh, I was in the audience, yeah. Yes, and we're posting everything on the Geeky Awards YouTube page, by the way. So it's G -E -E, the G-E-E-K-I-E -E Awards on YouTube. So you can go see Stan's speech singing because it's freaking awesome. It um, is freaking awesome. Presented by Seth Green, which was, that was like the highlight of my night, pretty much. Yeah, he's so great. That he man is. is so awesome. He's a, he's a nice guy. <laughs> Both of them, extremely amazingly nice people. Well, like outside of like a couple people, it seems like a lot of geeky celebrities 
tend to be really cool. They do. <laughs> you know, honestly, I mean, there's not a lot of people I've met that aren't mm -hmm. because I think it's the nature of you're passionate about this and that's why you do it. It's not like you were thrown into something and you're not expecting to have fans. Like, you want fans. So mm -hmm. the people that are, that are these creators and they're these celebrities, they're used to dealing with their own fans and they're usually really great with their fans. Mm -hmm. And so then they're great with our fans, which was super cool. It was super cool. And we're looking forward Yay. to year two of year the Geeky two. Awards. I feel like American Idol and I'm like, 1-800-2. No. I did not mean to say American Idol. <laughs> it's okay. You're allowed to say whatever you want. Um, so check that out. Check yes. out all the videos over on the YouTube page, which yes. I will link below. Heck yeah.